Good evening, I'm Yannicka Turellen, tonight on Prime News. So, who's the choker now? Why Glenn Maxwell may regret this taunt at the very end of last night's cliffhanger between the Black Caps and Australia. Murder in Moscow, but who's to blame? The Kremlin and opposition groups accuse each other of assassinating a fierce critic of President Putin. And open wide and say yum. The waiting's over. The bluff oyster season's finally here. This is Prime News. Kia ora, good evening. The country's collective nerves are still settling down following last night's Cricket World Cup thriller. Celebrations continued well into the night after the Black Caps' nail-biting victory over Australia. As Alex Bourne reports, the Trans-Tasman showdown had fans gripped from the start. Stay with us. Still to come on the program. It's far too good not to see again. More on last night's victory over the Australians at Eden Park. An amazing story of survival. The premature baby given a new heart just six days after he was born. And Prince William lightens the mood near Fukushima as the royal tour of Japan continues. At Falston back to ninth. Coming up, we recap the day's top stories, plus I'll have tomorrow's weather for your region. Welcome back. Time for a look at your weather now. More sunshine's in store tomorrow for most of the North Island, but cold frontal rain is approaching the west coast further down south. Do expect a few spotty showers over Northland tomorrow, but it's otherwise fine at the top of the country. Few sunshines there. It also spreads through the central North Island with clear skies and light wind in store for most here. Clouds starts to build as we move down the country though. The sun will stay out though either side of the Cook Strait. There's a watch for heavy showers on the lower South Island as a cold front arrives on the west coast tomorrow. And a very stormy outlook for most across in the Pacific. Rain's expected across the Tasman as well, with a showery forecast for Brisbane and lots of rain for Sydney there as well. There's more northern sun on the way later in the week though. Patchy rain in Northland will linger until Friday when it spreads down to Auckland and to the Bay of Plenty. And rain on the west coast will continue throughout the week with a few showers tomorrow for Queenstown and for Dunedin, while the rest of the East Coast, you remain mostly fine. Right, before we go, a reminder of our top story tonight. Australian cricketer Glenn Maxwell's had to eat his words after making this choking gesture. It came just before the Black Caps' one-wicket win over the Aussies at Eden Park last night. Maxwell taunted the crowd just before Kane Williamson smashed a match-winning six on the very next ball. That's Prime News for Sunday the 1st of March. Do join us again tomorrow night at 5.30. I'm Yannicka Turell and thank you for watching. Good night. Thank you.